Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about uh, improvement of enzymatic reactions. Uh, how we improve the enzymatic reactions or the enzymes itself. So uh, enzymes are protein molecules, generally protein molecules. And to change enzymes, to change the structure of enzymes or make the enzymes more robust, which is one of the factors for improving the enzymes to make it more robust so that it can withstand a large range of temperature and pH. So many uh, methods are implemented for it. And another improvement is to intensify the enzymatic reaction that is to increase the rate of enzymatic reaction so that we can obtain uh, higher conversions within a short period of time. So for uh, these for for modifying our enzymatic reactions, we can either modify our enzymes or we can enzyme the uh, physical surroundings or the chemical surroundings of the enzyme. So for modifying the enzyme, there is one way that is genetic engineering. We can change the uh, linear sequence, the linear polypeptide chain sequence, amino acid sequence of the protein enzyme by using genetic engineering by designing new uh, proteins. Uh, and for those new, protein, new proteins, we can design new sequences and we can incorporate those sequences in a, um, in a vector and then later on find a host for its expression for its suitable expression because expression again that is a, a different domain and for expression we need to have a suitable vector so that our enzyme folds into the uh, proper form in which we can have uh, the best activities or the proposed or the um, anticipated activities because uh, when we design a new sequence enzyme sequence we don't know how it would fold so uh, by changing the uh, the host of expression for expressing the enzymes we can modify the folding procedures and obtain new structures of the enzyme so this can uh, this uh, is a very promising field but it has been observed that after a lot of experimentation uh, a lot of experimentation fails because of this uh, folding of enzymes uh, because they fold up and end up into something you know uh, sometimes it does not even shows any activity it is completely inactive <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. So, genetic in by genetic engineering by using point mutations by converting uh, various amino acids, yes, to increase the robustness of the enzyme, we can uh, incorporate cysteine residues at various places. Cysteine is an amino acid which forms disulfide linkages, and these are covalent linkages that bind the enzyme structure together it uh, can bind two domains two different polypeptide chains or even the same polypeptide chain they can hold the enzymes together so cysteine provides the covalent disulfide linkages which increases the temperature stability of the enzyme so often uh, many amino acids are converted into cysteine to make the enzyme uh, more compatible towards to make the enzyme more compatible towards temperature fluctuations. Similarly, uh, there is another field that uh, we have uh, recently discussed that is medium engineering. We can change the medium of uh, the enzymatic reactions from aqueous to organic to supercritical to ionic liquids. Uh, we can explore different mediums and of course um, ionic liquids and supercritical fluids will, will be very expensive. So using organic solvents is also a very promising uh, technique uh, in the medium engineering domain. And in that we have seen that we can change the selectivity of the enzyme, the uh, specificity of the enzyme. Okay, even the activity, although the activity is lower than that uh, in the aqueous counterpart of that enzyme. But uh, nevertheless, we can find new applications of the same enzyme in different uh, organic solvents. So medium engineering is also one of the methods of improving the enzymatic reactions or the improving the application of the enzymes. Now in physical methods, uh, this would be the most cheapest of all the methods, most uh, economical of all the methods because in physical methods, we can uh, alter enzyme activities and uh, we can also improve 
the enzyme properties so the two uh, physical there are basically two physical methods that are used to improve the enzyme and one is immobilization it provide it provides the ability to reuse the enzymes again and again so uh, this makes the system uh, very much economical very much cost effective and it also imparts strength to the enzyme it might make the enzyme more uh, temperature and ph sensitive because uh, we have seen that because of the partition effect on the immobilized uh, enzyme surfaces we have a different optimum ph for immobilized enzymes so we can use immobilization for for designing our own process uh, our own industrial process so that uh, we can go for uh, like uh, if we have very harsh conditions for the enzyme so we can design an immobilization with uh, immobilization technique in which the enzymes after partitioning of the medium properties uh, we have uh, the optimum condition available for the enzyme to react so immobilization intelligent immobilization can impart us very fruitful results similarly another uh, uh, methods are using various irradiation techniques to improve the enzymatic reactions so um, although uh, high energy radiations would not be very beneficial uh, but in yes um, sound waves which are mechanical waves uh, they impart agitation as well as energy to the system so it has been observed observed that uh, the rate of uh, enzymatic reactions can be enhanced by uh, designing sonication uh, methods which are uh, very mild they are, uh, they are not very intense they are very um, of they are of very low intensity uh, sonication and they are also applied for a very short amount of time uh, so uh, and it has been also found that sonication considerably reduces the uh, reaction time of enzymes that is it is it has been used for intensifying the enzymatic reactions like uh, it has been used to intensify the conversion of um, cellulose the breaking of cellulose by cellulases and pectin by pectinases lignin by lignin uh, various peroxidases so sonication has been used to intensify reactions even lipase lipolytic reactions have been enhanced intensified by uh, sonication so uh, these are all the methods for improving the enzymatic uh, reactions so uh, this can be implement, implemented Uh, when one is working on uh, various enzymatic reactions so uh, only after implementation we can make it out that uh, which method will be the best method for improving the enzymatic reactions hope you have understood the improvement of enzymatic reactions and till my next lecture goodbye